Hey guys, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Indigo demo, part one of the demo, but this is part two of the part one demo videos, or however you want to say it. So in the last episode, we got a bunch of items from the Gerudo Training Grounds type area, including some new items, such as the Piccolo, Rock's Feather, and Water Bombs, and a lot of other cool stuff. So it's really cool so far, and now um, we're at the Skyloft area, so let's see if we can actually do anything in here. We'll see what happens. Oh. So these guys, we learned in the last video that you can only kill them with the hammer, which is already on this set of C buttons, so that's cool. But the forest temple music. All right. So is this a full-on dungeon? Skyloft from Twilight Princess, huh? Let's see. Well, it's not Skyloft is not um, Twilight Princess. It's Skyward Sword, isn't it? At least I think so. There was a Sky Dungeon in Twilight Princess, though. That's probably what I'm getting mixed up with. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. A little switch. Oh, I sent some Rock's Feather Madness. Oops. Oh, I messed that up. Let's try that again. Ooh, wow, that's uh I know I probably have to use this block to my advantage. Duh. Let's push this this way. We give ourselves enough room to jump from the block to this platform. Love Rock's Feather, that's such a cool item. Do that. Then this. Nice. Really adds quite the maneuverability to the game. Oh, bombs. Cool. That gate's up. Not sure what would unlock that. So let's go through the other door on the other side. Ignore you. Oh. At least they made the pits realistic that it would drop into like the sky if you were to fall. Since we're up in the sky, yeah, there's a chest up there. So I guess for these crates, probably gotta use the hammer. Aha! What the? Yellow bubble, mostly harmless. It's probably more afraid of you than you are of it. Oh, but you can hurt them regularly. A switch. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm still not used to the fast walk. All right, so rocks feather. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see a tunnel and a torch. Can we jump over this if we do the old backflip? Rocks feather method? No. Hmm. Strange. Nothing else in there, just a torch. But there's a tunnel. So, I don't know. Ooh. Thought I wasn't going to make it there for a second. Now that switch, though, did that do anything else anywhere? But, or just that? Did it open this gate, too? Or no? Doubt it. Oh, it did. Okay. Good old switches doing things in other rooms trick. I know what you are. We gotta use this block to our advantage, though. Derp. At least we got the fast bowl, though. Quality of life. Yeah. Nice. Good old OG Forest Temple musics. It's a long tunnel. Love the fast uh, crawling though. Wow, it still goes. All right, this looks backflip rock featherable. And again. Mm. Gonna have to time that one a little bit better. 
Hmm. This is a tricky jump. Um, can't jump it normally, can you? Oh, duh. <laughs> Still getting used to new mechanics. It's probably the key, right? Yeah. Can only be using the sun gym. No kidding. Get to this door now. Ooh, this is a big room. Excuse me while I yawn. Wow. Hello there. I probably should have seen what Tail has to say about it. Some torches. Hmm. What could all this mean? Let's check this door first, I guess. Whoa. White bats? What are these? Keys, when you get close to the... Oh. So it's just your normal bats. They're just white. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fair enough. Let's see, I hear another one. The key door. A very... Oh. Very fast, um... Windmill doohickey thing in there. very weird. Um, I'll go this way. Ooh, man, you know what? I should probably have that rock's feather on because I know I'm going to need it a lot, probably. Uh-oh. White bubble. Do you think it ever gets dizzy spinning around like that? These are just regular kills, right? What do we get from here? A small chest. I see a boss key chest up there, but we don't have any way to get up there. Not that I know of, anyway. Ah, useless rupee. Fair enough. Why are we lagging again? It's silly. Why are we lagging? So there's a platform up there, so it looks like you might be able to get to it from another way, or with a hookshot? Don't know. Let's see if we can uh, get on this thing. Oh, that was so close. But we did it. Nuts. Okay. Wow, it's really lagging for some reason. Just out of nowhere, too. We didn't lag the first time we were in this room. Alright. Um, probably safe is just jump to the middle. Work our way out of the... Whoops. That was a fail. It's alright though. Alright, so that's that. There's a key door in there, so we can't do anything. Guess we'll go this way. Wonder if we can use this torch to light the other torches. I don't know, it's pretty high. I don't think so. Let's check this door. What? Is this one of those, um. Aww. These kind of puzzles. Alright, so we gotta fill in all the blocks. Oh, I stepped off of it. Crap. Alright, let's try that again. Do, 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 do. I love a little sound. Ah. Alright, alright. I like that. That's pretty fun. Small key. What does the switch do? What? Made platforms appear. Um. Huh. Well, it looks like we can only do that when uh, we can get up there. Check this door. Ooh. This looks uh, terrifying. This is bottom of the well type stuff. Oh no. Those things are creepy. And they eat your hearts like crazy. Red, re-dead elder. Just, let's just leave quietly. I don't know if that's possible though. Ow. Ow, what the heck? Oh God. Jeez. 
What is hurting me? All right, maybe we should jump. All right. Um. Only two hits for the regular deads. All right. Not so bad. What's this? Another key. There are two. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's actually more of like a rock's cape because rock's cape was the double jump. At least in Oracle of Seasons. There was no rock's cape in uh, Oracle of Ages. Just the uh, feather. Alright, we'll climb back out. Now we got two keys. It's called a white redead, so those things are like terrifying because they just skitter really fast after you and you're like, no! And they eat your health twice as fast. So an upper area. Bats. Hmm. Alright, well I guess um I guess we could try to light the torches with uh, the bow, but I don't, that torch is too high. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. No. All right. Well, there was a key door over here, so let's check that out. See what goes on. Although we could probably hit that torch with the uh, Deku stick, because we can use Deku sticks as adult link, which I forget about now. Let's check this door. Like I, like I did before, probably easiest to jump for the middle. I almost didn't press the button in time. What do we got? Oh god. Stall child. Blades and arrows will bounce off. Use heavy weapons or explosives. Alright, so same as before. Whoa! Okay. Oh. Small little water pit there. Another key door, another door. Wow, it's an extensive place. Okay. Cratage. And up, I guess. Kind of don't know where I should be going first. Oh, I like the uh, little outside section here. It's pretty cool. Got an inactive fan. Um, don't think I'm going to be able to get across here without that fan, to be honest. No? Alright, so... Oh, stall things are back. And they move faster, too. That's terrifying. I guess we'll go into the uh, pit of nothingness here, of water. And yep. I love that we sink faster. Oh, water bombs. Nice. I love the mix of textures, it's pretty cool. Got the bricks from inside the forest temple in the wells. Oh, uh, this looks like it's gonna be some kind of mini boss or something. This looks terrifying. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Say it isn't so. God no. Go away. Heh. <laughs> Taste my arrows, like likes. A big chest. Is this going to be like the hook shot or something, maybe? That's a major item that we don't have, unless it's replaced with something else. Aw, oh, what? Are you telling me that I just dealt with those like likes for nothing? What was the sign say? Sorry about that one. I just don't know what item to put down here yet. Okay, that's fair enough. Alright, so nothing in here. Gotcha. So 
so there must be something else we can do up this way. Oh, the uh, stall enemies die in the water. Let's use our other key. That was a nice little troll worm down there. Let's climb it up, I guess. Oh, we're back in the central room. Switch. Oh, we can rotate the room, huh? What? Huh? Huh. Okay. Um. Can I make it down there? No, I guess not. Hmm. Alright. I feel like that's possible, though. Like if I just time it just right. Oops. Or not get it right at all. No, uh, I guess not. I mean, it's not that far from the main room, so... Go away. I'm back in this room. Yeah. That's very uh, disorienting to move off of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, we need to not be so hasty here. Alright. Let's do this properly. Eat. And then eat. There we go. Much better. Ah, that's the other room. I don't want to be there. Alright. So now this way, I guess. Oh, this is the same... Did we go through the door yet? I can't remember. No, we did not. What is that? Stall child's shaman. Watch out. I've seen these only once before. Keep your distance until its minions are defeated. Okay. Oh. What minions? Oh, okay. Um, tiny ones then. Oh no, they're so fast. Stall child, blades and arrows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Now. So you can damage him once the minions are gone. That's a cool mechanic, I like that. Oh boy. A big one. And a bunch of small ones. Oh, they're so small I can't hit him. Ah! Aha! That was a cool little mini boss. Now, is this a true chest or is this a troll again? Oh, it looks real. This has got to be like the hookshot or something. Doo -doo. The bomb arrow. Set it to sea, and your arrows will have explosive tips, igniting on impact to damage a wide area. With the supply of bombs, a special arrow will let you detonate things from a safe distance. What? Bomb arrows. That's really cool. Ah, and it uses bombs to add arrows. Okay. Makes sense. Is this the door we came through? Yeah, this the chest facing the other way threw me off. That's so cool, though. Wow. Okay. Guess we'll put these to use. I like the little balcony-like area here. Okay. That's a large gap. 
Come back here. It fell off. It's gonna be overkill for this thing, but... Oh, wow, that's cool. Explosive arrows. I love it. Let's break the pots. And for good reason, too. What sorcery is this room? Blue switch. Hmm. What's with the little opening? Crates. All right, seems simple enough. Although it's probably not. Grab the crate, take it to the blue switch, I guess, right? We still fast walk even with the crate, nice. Drop it. Okay. So what's the purpose of the... Uh... Okay, I see. Um, I keep forgetting that we have a second set of items. Um, I don't think I can make that. Well, I'm sure if I... No, that doesn't work either. Um, well, maybe the block, probably. Yeah. Use everything at your disposal. At least it's fast. <laughs> Watch out for the blade. Yeah. Hope we're getting the lag again. Why? All right, now what? Um. Yeah. Okay, so there's a gate there that's still not open. How do we open that? What am I missing? Unless there's something up here that I missed. Uh... Why the lag? Obviously something. So they don't actually hurt you. They just kind of push you. Oh, no, it does hurt. Okay. He wasn't turning red. It didn't look right. All right. So there must be something that I can't do here yet. Let's check back this way, I guess. Can I boomerang this? Take that, the bat. Still feel like there's something in the main room that I can do with the torches. Don't know. Of course, now that I've turned the... Uh, I think I see something. I think I see something. It's blocked by that boulder. Aha! Oh, so the whole thing moves now. Completely. Gotcha. Alright, I foresee Deku sticks being used here to light these torches quickly. So let's grab one. I missed it. That's crap. Is this the right spot? Oh man. Can he even light my torch with that? Let's jump off for a second and see if I can actually... I can't. I can't doing that. 
But then I'm not going to be able to light the other torches at all. The heck, man. Oops. That was a mistake. So the bomb arrows probably don't light these either, too, right? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Alright, so you can't really jump that. <laughs> Catch me. Oh, this is probably 60 up high enough. Okay. I get it. I gotta stand in this corner. It should be just right, right? Yeah. Spin the right round. One. Two. And three. Nice. Alright, that's cool. Alright, now we gotta jump off and go in here. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> Easy enough. That was lucky. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> a little worse for wear on hearts, but we have a fairy, right? Alright, so now we gotta deal with spinning platforms from up high shenanigans. Catch me! Wah! Alright, that's locked, so we'll go this way. Crush him! Oh, that's a large crystal switch over there. What? What is that? What did that just do? Oh, jeez. These little guys are pesky. Wow, you take a lot of hits to get dead, don't you? The heck? Huh. Wow, that was tough. Alright, so what, um... What's the secret of the crystal switch? Probably just switch to regular arrows for this. Oh, I guess green is what you want to open the doors. Well, that was lucky, uh, lucky guess. These are just good old regular blue bubbles, right? These ones aren't as bad as we had back in Termina. Remember how those would curse you? <laughs> I do, actually. Alright. Definitely take more, uh, hits. What's in this door? They give me hearts, so... Whoa, that's a big one. Oh my gosh. Wow, one hit for the big one, okay. What the heck are these? Oh, is it like a slot machine? What? So beans, chicken, and mushrooms? Oh, so that moves it over, okay. So what happens, which one do we need? No. Alright, how about um, nuts? Or do we need one of everything? No. Beans? It's an interesting concept. I'm very confused. Hmm. What does it mean? What's the correct order? Um, 
Us is supposed to have something to do with the chicken. Uh... What sorcery is this? I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so maybe there's uh, something else I don't know about. Check elsewhere. Ah, oh, that's close too. open anything. That door is still closed. What the heck, man? This just goes back to the giant stall. Or just regular stalls now. That's weird. So there's got to be something to do with the, the slot machine place room that I'm not understanding. The giant stall travels in here. Of course it would do that. And... So what are you supposed to do with this? Activate span? Yes, it does. All right, we gotta use this. Wee! All right. Well, now we're across there. Oh, there's the access to the boss key. Gotcha. All right. So we're still kind of stuck because I don't know what to do with that slot room. Let's look around a little bit more. You got the boss key. Even though it's kind of useless right now. Ow. Let's see what we can find. There's got to be something we're missing. Because... There's got to be something. There's got to be a certain way for those slots. That I don't know. But they... Haven't showed the right way to do them. And... What was not here? What was this way again? Bats. Yeah. Bye bye. Put away our stuff. Run faster. Get some hearts to kind of refill a little bit. I think, wasn't this room the one with the block and the. Yeah, it was. There's gotta be. Oh, what? What just happened? So that switch controls both the gates. That's probably why there's a window there. Okay, I think I understand now. Well, I'm glad I came back uh, over this way because I was starting to lose my head a little bit there. So let's do this switch like we did the first time. 
not get hit by that like a stupid. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, this... Uh, and it, clo it closed the other gate. Alright, now I understand. So let's grab this block, move it over here, and probably... Oh, we have bomb arrows. You could probably blow up the crate from uh, across the room. I think I get it. Sneaky, sneaky. So if we do this... Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, I still have bomb arrows. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so that's how you do that then. Gotcha. Uh, this is the room with the tiles. Push this down. And there was... Yeah, that switch makes platforms appear. Gotta be speedy. Faster. Oh, rock's feather. Got some bat line up here. Simple work. Ooh, double. I don't think I've ever killed two bats at once. This is gonna be a little delicate walk here. Easy. And right, now that door's open. Alright, well, we're making progress again, so hopefully we figure out what goes on in the other room. Hey, more stall guys. Oh, I spy the answer to our question. More remote bomb shoes. Hm. Well, I don't really see the point of remote bomb shoes if you have bomb arrows. Maybe if you run out of one or the other. But, nevertheless. So, mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. I'm going to say that over and over again. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Sounds really weird to say that. <laughs> Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom, bean, chicken, nut. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Okay. Mushroom bean chicken nut. I'm just saying it so I remember. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Oh, that was a bad idea. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Mushrooms with beans and chicken nut. Ignore them. Mushroom bean chicken nut. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I remember. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Break. Thank you. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Giant stall thing. Ow. Die. Mushroom bean chicken nut. Mushroom, bean, oops, chicken nut, aha, whew, alright, that was an interesting puzzle, oh uh, we got another one of these, and giant like likes, are you kidding me, that's just an insult, that's just insulting, giant like likes. Oh, man. Wow, and they're tough, too. No match for my bomb arrows, though. How do you like it now, huh? Yeah, eat that. Alright, this is going to be challenging. This is quite the large tile puzzle here. But I'm sure we can figure it out. Break that wall, too. Could be these, right? Yeah. Oh, man, these bomb arrows are really convenient. 
how the heck are we supposed to do this? All right, well, um, uh, better late than never. This is gonna be very difficult to anticipate. We're gonna have to end right there because there's no way to get out or start there. It could also be a possibility. Um, so if I go, I think I messed it up. If I do this, or no, I might actually be okay. Gotta go up and around. This way. And then, oh, there's another indentation there. You know what? One of those is probably a start spot and one is the end spot. There's no way I can get that tile without getting a dead end. Oh, all right. So we got to start at one of these. All right, let's go this way. Got to end over there though, probably. Ugh. All right, I kind of want to start over again. <laughs> um, let me go this way. Loop around. Zigzag my way around. Loop around this way. Provide a way to the end, because we're going to need that. Leaving ourselves a path. Um, maybe go this way. Uh, nope, definitely messed that up. Ah, crap. Alright, uh, I'll come back to that puzzle in a minute. Let's go this way, see what happens. It's quite the slope. Or does this just give you an aerial view? So many times I tried, I'll just sit here and rest a bit while I think, hmm, red, blue, then red, wait. Huh? Red, blue, then red, wait. What are you trying to tell us? What are you trying to tell us, man? All right, there's gotta be something. Um, I don't want to block ourselves in. This is making my brain hurt. It's not going to work. Let me start from this direction. Nope, because I'm going to block myself from being able to do that one. Hmm. ourselves away to the end. I feel like we get, we're on to something here. I don't know. We might get it. Oh, I think... Oh, I think we got it. Yes! Shoo! That was that was a cool challenge. I like I like that. I, I don't mind those kind of puzzles. They get a little frustrating sometimes, but uh, uh oh, oh boy, 
It's the whole stall family. Die. Hey, hey. Got a small chest. And some lag to go with it. That's a little good lag every now and then. Another key. That'll be useful for the upper area again. Um, so this is the door that I came in, or no? Oh, this is the, uh, other end of the blue bubble room. Gotcha. Fair enough. So we should be able to follow this back to the large spinning platform room. Yeah. And go through the locked door. Progress! Oh, boss door. Okay. Stop lagging for crying out loud. So we're stocking us up on arrows. Magic. What could the boss be? It's the fire temple door, so is it gonna be like what, Balvagi or something? Oh snap. Alright, no, this is not Valvagia. What the heck? Oh, it's uh I forget his name. From Majora's Mask. Alright, um so in Majora's Mask you need the light arrows. So bomb arrows? Okay. Oh god. Shield? Anybody? Shield doesn't block him, okay. Wow. Alright, he's a little tough. Alright, shield does block that. Ow. Aha. Wait, what? Oh, I got him. Ah. Wow, that was really cool. Thank you so much for playing. This is the end of the demo. Please share your feedback to help improve the game. I have many people to thank for helping make this possible, but I don't know how to make a credit scene yet <laughs> soon. Also, the chest by the door is a new item I'm currently working on. Try it out and let me know what you think. Oh. Another new item. Okay. That was a cool boss, though. I like. Uh, I always like that boss in Majora's Mask. Stone Tower Temple. The Pegasus Boots. These legendary boots allow you to run at incredible speeds and ram into things with great force. When wearing these boots, your spin attack will be replaced with Pegasus Dash. Hold B to dash and release cancel. Yo. That was a really cool boss fight, though. That was very well done. New twist on that boss from Majora's Mask. Pegasus Boots. Whoa! Holy crap! That's awesome! I kind of want to take that out into Hyrule Field and just kind of have fun with it for a minute. So that's the end of the first demo. I really like this. I can't... I'm really excited to see this. Uh... Whoa! That was cool. Alright, so spin attack. Oh, it uses magic power. And if you let go of the button, it stops. Gotcha. Whee! Oh, this is fun. That was a hit a tree. Ooh! <laughs> that was cool. Can you jump with those on? Like, if you're running and then... Like, jump? I'll try it. <laughs> I have to twist my fingers really weird, but... Nah, you can't do it at the same time. That would be cool, though, if you could, like, jump. Oh, that really gives you a far jump, though. Like, if you do it do it at a ledge. That's pretty cool. I like it. Keep it. Keep it in the game. I love it. Oh, and you still go, even without the magic power. But you don't have... Wait, so... So you can run, but just not have, like, the... 
yellow Zora type shield thing. Well, that's pretty cool. So you can still use it, you just can't have the magic beam or whatever. Gotcha. Well, I thought that was a really awesome uh, demo, and I can't wait to try uh, the second demo, so that'll be out soon. Um, I'll be recording that probably right after this and see how that goes. So, But I really like this part one so far alone, so if you guys like the uh, episode, uh, make sure you subscribe to see the second demo and Tears of the Kingdom on Saturdays, and drop a like. And yeah, um, I'll catch you in whatever episode goes next, whether it be Mario RPG or... Indigo number two demo. So until then, take care.